Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Consider Tech, and this is the Adonet Pixel Active Stylus for surprisingly a lot of devices. So this is the Adonet Pixel pressure sensitive stylus with Bluetooth. Now it's compatible with iPad, or let's read the English side. Compatible with iPad 4, iPad Air, iPad Mini, iPad Pro, iPhone 5, or anything newer. Uh, and it works on Amazon, or wow, works on Android tablets as well. Now, I'm really surprised with as, as I'm opening this. This won't be a really unboxing video because it's a really small device. I will just be unboxing like this. This is a really good product. Um, I was actually surprised of how many... Uh, devices it uh, connects to because active styluses like the Apple Pencil, per se, or, I mean, the Google Pixel Slates Pencil, or whatever that is called, all those active styluses work for that device, and they work because of something that it added into. This active stylus works via Bluetooth, and that's it. Um, now, opening it up, it just kind of slides open. And this is all your uh, quick start guide and all of the information there. Uh, it only is compatible with like the palm rejection and all that with certain apps. This is the not so quick start guide. It says quick start guide, but it's the non so quick start guide. And yeah, it's just a really good, um, it's, a, it's a strange product in my opinion. Now, uh, there would be a charger right here and then the pen is right there so let's open let's have open the pen maybe let's open the pen ah. <sighs> okay we open the pen <laughs> Now this is the active stylus. Now it's a little bit uh, bigger, so it feels really, really nice in your hand. Uh, this is the pressure sensitivity. And um, yeah, like I was saying, the weird part about this is it only connects to certain apps for the palm ejection and all that stuff, which I mean, it's sketchbooks. So I mean, most drawers use that anyways. It's a really good app. Now you have to turn it on to use it. Even if you want to use it in any app, just like a regular stylus, it won't have palm rejection, but it will still work as a regular stylus in any app you want. Um, you have to actually turn it on, which is really strange because it doesn't really make sense because it's literally just using the ballpoint to touch your screen, but it doesn't work unless you turn it on. Um, and it has two buttons. The bottom one is how to turn it on and off. Off is 10 seconds, on is like two seconds until it turns green. Off is basically until it turns red. And the top button, um, it doesn't do anything unless you program the two buttons in app. Uh, this is the charger for it. it. Charges magnetically to this like it's like this little brick. Uh, it honestly looks like this um, USB drive. You plug it like that magnetically. It's really dumb, but I mean that's what they use. I don't know what to tell you. It's really dumb. You can buy a wired um, dock that it's like a, um, I'm trying to think of what it would look like. Um, it's like a little, uh, like one of those old quilt um, ink jars where it's like this and you just place it in like that. That sounds appealing, but it's like $29. So I've never charged this yet and I've had it for like six, uh, for three months, two months, three or two months. And I haven't charged it yet. So it's working really well. And it's a really good pen. So, trying it out. It basically just works as a regular pen. Now here's it turning on. Like I sit here, oh, so this is turning it on. And then this is turning it off. That's turning it off. So let's turn it back on. And it works uh, with, say, my iPad right here. 
okay? So, it works like a normal stylus wherever you want. But then we go to uh, sketchbook, okay? Autisk sketchbook. Now, this app, as you saw right there, it's connected to the device, so I can, so yeah, so I can use the pen, like a normal pen, but it also has palm ejection, so I can put my hand on the screen, and it still draws no problem, um, or I can, like, do that, and the buttons I have set for back, and, um, using the last color is each button. So it's a really nice uh, way of using the pen with like an iPad uh, 5, this is, it works <laughs> as an active stylus, which the app pencil does not. Um, now, and when I get an iPad Pro, which I'd love to have, but when I get a new iPad, it'll still work with it, which is nice. So putting that over to the side. So we tried it, or why did I put it like that? We tried it. Um, and good pen, a little bit of, of course, glitches because it's just working off of Bluetooth. It's not actually connecting into the hardware like an Apple Pencil would be because it connects actually Apple to Apple. This is just connecting via Bluetooth. So that's one problem, I guess, but it's not an issue. I mean, works perfectly fine for all your uh, daily needs. I use it for note taking a lot. Oh my gosh, it works perfectly fine for that. And I use it actually in the Apple Notes app, with, and it doesn't have palm direction, it still works perfectly fine. And it's nicer to use than those precision um, pens or the, the ones with the little knobby. I did not like those. I had an actually Adonit one um, like that, blue, and it, it, was, it, was, it was not fun. I mean, you had to use a certain amount of pressure. This is just perfect. Like, it works all the time, no matter how much pressure you're using on it, which is nice. So would I suggest this? Yes, I would 100% suggest this over any of those um, ones with the plate, like I was saying, the precision ones with the plate, the um, C3 plate, um, that kind of look like this, but C3 plate, like I said, wow, I said that so many times. We're good. Um, or any of those uh, knobby ones, which I extremely hate, and they don't work well. This is the best pen. Yes, it was, I'm pretty sure, it was $120 on Amazon for this bronze and black, as you can tell with my last job, with the last job, my last video with the Jabras, where also was also black and copper. Um, I really like this color, apparently. Um, but you can get in this or silver. Funny enough, exactly like Jabras. You should watch that video. And I'm um, looking at here, they have a lot of videos, uh, or they have a lot of um, different pens i don't it does if you are looking for a pixel or for uh, or for sorry for an ipad pro or for anything new that supports the app pencil but you don't really want to buy the apple pencil because it's expensive they have a lot of cheap options like for 50 dollars, you can get the same thing but it's called the uh the i don't it note for the ipad pro so go to the internet website go to amazon and they have a lot of um things that work really well um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, that was our last video over there. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of our videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless posted on Instagram.